What's up you guys, it's Mr. Arturator316, I'm back on YouTube, uh, here to make a video requested by Impossible956. I think I made a video like this before, but whatever, I'll do it again, I feel like it. Um, it's going to be based on my top favorite uh, WWE DVDs, pay-per-view wise, uh, wise, sorry. Um, before I did... Excluding pay-per-views. Now I'm just gonna do pay-per-views, excluding documentaries. Uh, you might find this list quite interesting, quite unexpected, and hopefully you guys will not rent. Um, before I, let me just put this camera down and get all the DVDs set up. All right, basically I ranked them by match qualities, uh, whether the the cart was consistent in its in excitement, like um. You know, there wasn't boring matches, and then decent matches, then boring matches, and then very good matches. It was either pretty decent throughout the pay-per-view, or very good throughout the pay-per-view. Maybe one little bad match, but other than that, everything else was great. Um, now, as you know, my username has the word Attitude Era in it. So, if you see most of the DVDs from Attitude Era, do not blame me, because I've told you guys I'm a huge, huge Attitude Era fanatic. Um, since 2001. Anyways, going on to number, I'm basically making top 15 because I couldn't put a top 10. I thought there were some DVDs I needed to showcase. Anyways, going on to number 15 is from 2002, No Mercy. Now, uh, you might not, you might not have expected this to be in the list, but reason for that is because I thought this pay-per-view was very, very underrated. Um, you know, this DVD was basically uh, uh like throughout the night n non-stop um excitement i thought from the smallest matches to the biggest matches uh they were great um you know from the opener to the end i thought there wasn't any bad match uh i liked them all don marie and tori wilson put up a decent decent match the rest were great um you know, Brock Lesnar versus Undertaker in a Hell in a Cell match was terrific. Um, I remember telling you guys my top five favorite Hell in a Cell matches. I forgot to add this one in. This should be my top six. So yeah, No Mercy was a great pay-per-view. A lot of great matches, a lot of great memories. I love the the opening of the match. was very hysterical because um, of the blooper of when Chris Jericho was trying to do the line saw and the rope just collapsed. And basically he fell on his back. It was funny. But uh, something shit can happen in in WWE. I mean, you may never know. Uh, anyways, so yeah, going on to number fourteen. Uh, this DVD came. This event came kind of after the Attitude Era. Uh, it's from two thousand four. It's uh, Backlash. Now another DVD you guys probably did not expect. Uh, reason why I put this on the list because uh, you know. The triple threat match from WrestleMania going on to Backlash. Both matches were great. And these three put up a great match. Not only WrestleMania, but a Backlash as well. Just like I said. Uh, they put up a great match. They tried to make it better, but really it wasn't. But still, it was a great, great match. I loved it. And speaking of WrestleMania, neither of the WrestleMania DVDs are on my list. Because I felt like those were too superior than the other minor DVDs. So I thought, you know... You already know that most of the DVDs on my list would have been WrestleMania. Instead, I just took out all WrestleManias and just put regular pay-per-views. I still included Royal Rumble, SummerSlam, Survivor Series, but the rest are still the same. Anyways, uh, going on to back, going back to Backlash. Uh, yeah, back to Backlash. Another great match was the Hardcore Champion, the Hardcore match for the Intercontinental Championship. Randy Orton versus Cactus Jack. Let's just say this made Randy Orton's career skyrocket. Cactus Jack basically made Randy Orton look like a superstar throughout the match. Awesome match. Uh, you got some other great matches on the, on the card. Shelton Benjamin versus Ric Flair. Uh, another another match where they made a new star. Shelton Benjamin. Perfect. Uh, there were some excusable moments where, you know, eh. But still, I love the moments. Love the highlights. Great pay-per-view. Going on to number 13. Um... Uh, I, I know without a doubt you guys will not disagree with me. It's SummerSlam 2004. Um, 2004 has been a great year. Great Royal Rumble, great WrestleMania, great SummerSlam, and great Survivor Series. Great year. Uh, anyways, going to SummerSlam. 
uh, basically this main event made ins inspired me to put this on the list. Randy Orton versus Chris Benoit. Um, I think if Benoit hasn't done what he did, they would pretty much show this match over and over and over again all over television, uh, whether it's in and all over the WWE documentaries, whether it's in Randy Orton's DVD or Chris Benoit's DVD or the history of the World Heavyweight Championship or the history of SummerSlam, they would have to put this this match. This match was tremendous. It made me literally uh, on the edge of my, like, had me sit on the, uh, uh, sorry, I can't speak. Uh, it literally made me sit at the edge of my seat because I really did not know who was going to win. I actually thought Chris Benoit was going to win, but then by the match started, I felt like Randy's gonna win, and it was just so unpredictable. Randy Orton won. I was so happy for him. I was always a Randy Orton fan since 2003. Loved his ca his cocky attitude. Anyways, going on to number 12, I believe it's from the Attitude Era, and it's uh, WWF Royal Rumble 2002. Now this had a lot of great matches. Uh, I think all matches were great. Uh, nothing terrible. Pretty much all of them were good. Uh, Chris Jericho vs. The Rock, another great match. Even though they had the third main event championship match, yet they still made the roof explode in the building. Uh, Vince McMahon and Ric Flair had a great no DQ match. I loved it. Loved to see Ric Flair kick Vince McMahon's ass. Uh, Trish Stratus vs. Jazz was decent. Edge vs. William Regal was good. And the tag team championship match was pretty good. And as you know, the Royal Rumble match was awesome. Loved the return of Triple H, winning the Royal Rumble and everything on that. Great, great main event. Uh, going on to number 11, you got one of the recent pay-per-views, Mind the Bank. I think it's obvious. Uh, I think all the recent fans, all the kids, they all know why this pay-per-view is on my list. Um, this man made history. And yes, he made history in this pay-per-view. Uh, basically scaring the crap out of a lot of fans, you know, he's going to take the WWE Championship away from the WWE. You know, what will WWE like, be like without the WWE Championship? It, will it be different? Or It was just tremendous. All matches were great. There was not one single bad match. I thought the World Heavyweight Championship match was disappointing at the end. Uh, but still, I was happy that Christian won the world title. Uh, going on to number 10, I believe, and this is my top 10 list. Number 10 is Survivor Series 2001. I could have put this higher, but the reason why I didn't was because I had to admit, some of the matches I thought were not really fascinating. Uh, Christian versus Al Snow was pretty much uh, an eh type of match. Uh, the Tajiri versus William Ringo was brutal, but still it was not well... Uh, what you call it? It was not well... Um, can't think of the word I'm looking for. Uh, it was not, yeah, it was not well promoted. Like, I thought they could have promoted well, but seriously, it was not that good. Uh, Edge versus Test was pretty good. I loved the rivalry right there. Hardy Boys versus Dudley Boys. Ow, my, oh my god, I cannot believe my freaking eyes. Did I just see that from the match? Holy crap. Jeff Hardy is one of the most innovative guys I've ever seen. And these two teams basically blow up the roof of the arena awesome match uh, then you had some other matches and then the the main event which is on the cover great great main event long long it was a really long match it was like about an hour but still it was very good number nine is um, SummerSlam 2003 beautiful cover beautiful event uh, beautiful main event actually going on to the main event I thought it was pretty short but still it was pretty good uh, Kurt Angle vs. Brock Lesnar was a great match. Rob Van Dam vs. Kane, another good match. Uh, Shane McMahon and Eric Bischoff, pretty good. Uh, the four-way four uh, match for the U.S. title was off the hook. It was awesome. I loved the match. I thought this was my favorite match. I mean, believe it or not, I love this match more than any other match. Eddie Guerrero vs. Chris Benoit vs. Rhino vs. Tajiri. Four of the best athletes in the WWE at the time. Great, great events. Great, great uh, matches and everything like that. I think we're on number eight. Uh, you shall not disagree with this one. I guarantee it. Um, it would be Royal Rumble 2000. What can I say? Triple H and Cactus Jack had a great, great title match. Holy crap. One of the most violent matches I've ever seen in my life. The Royal Rumble match was pretty decent. 
other than that, the whole event should have been a 10 stars. Uh, going on to number, I think it was one, two, Sorry guys, I'm a little stalled about that. Uh, number seven would be SummerSlam 2000, another DVD from another pay-per-view from 2000. A lot of great mo memories. Uh, you know the Kurt Angle incident right there. He got pedigree on the table by Triple H, and he probably had a concussion, I think, and it was terrible. Um, basically, throughout the match, it was The Rock versus Triple H, but they tried to bring back Kurt Angle. Undertaker vs. Kane was not a memorable match, but what was memorable about it was when Undertaker ripped out Kane's mask and when we first saw Kane's face. Chris Jericho vs. Chris Benoit was another great match. The TLC match that I thought stole the show. So yeah, great, great pay-per-view. Going on to number 6, Survivor Series 2003. There were so many memorable moments. You know, you had Stone Cold's career on the line from the Survivor Series elimination match. You had John Cena's rise of his career after he eliminated the Big Show. You had, um, what else did you have? You had, you know, Goldberg beat Triple H for the second straight pay-per-view in the row, which we thought would never happen. We had Kane beat the hell out of Shane McMahon in an ambulance match. And we had, you know, the most ironic of them all, we had Mr. McMahon bury The Undertaker alive. Holy crap. Great Survivor Series. I thought this was... I thought this could have been the best... Not, yeah, I thought this could have been the best Survivor Series ever. So, yeah, I know. Uh, a lot of great stuff. Okay. Let me see. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Yeah, number 5. Going on to our top 5, guys. Uh, we're on... WWF for Royal Rumble 2001. Holy crap, this was amazing. I think this is my favorite Royal Rumble of all time. Um, very, very good from what I remember as a kid. Um, Kurt Angle, uh, sorry, Chris Benoit versus Chris Jericho was an unbelievable match. Great ladder match. I loved it. Um, what else? Uh, the, the WWF Championship match between Triple H and Kane was decent. Uh, I liked it, but I thought their match in No Way Out 2002 was way better. And the Royal Rumble match, let's just say the Royal Rumble match saved the pay-per-view. Otherwise, it would have been just a decent a decent pay-per-view. Stone Cold won it for the third time. I was happy. Going on to number four, you guys will never, ever, ever, ever disagree with this one. And it's ECW One Night Stand 2006. Let's just say this match stole the show. And let's just say, finally, and I repeat, finally, RVD becomes the WWE champion. Finally, it took him like freaking five years to do so. I thought he like could have been the WWE champion since he debuted. He was just so talented. I mean, if you watch what he did in ECW, you thought he could have been the WWE champion at least five times. That's how good Rob Van Dam was. Repeat, was. Uh, the mixed extreme tag team match between Tommy Dreamer, Terry Funk, and Beulah versus Edge. Mick Foley and Lita was tremendous. I thought they could have done a little bit more with Lita and Beulah. But they did tremendous. All in all, 5 stars for that match. The Rey Mysterio and Sabu match was a disappointment. They both got hurt. But um, at, at least they they um, finished the match in a pretty reasonable way. And the John Cena vs. Robin M obviously stole the show. Period. Um, oh yeah. Balls Mahoney vs. Masato Tanaka, I think his name is, was a great match. And if you thought ECW 2006 was great, how about ECW One I Stand 2005? Holy crap. The best pay-per-view of 2005, in my opinion. Better than WrestleMania as well. Why? Because, well, let's just face it. There were just so many great memories that just came back to me. I mean, when I first, like, when I first saw some of the things that have happened in ECW... I literally felt like ECW could have been one of the greatest companies. Actually, no. ECW was one of the greatest companies of all time. Uh, if it wasn't for their uh, poverty stage, if I should say, uh, they could have been like on top of the game even today. I thought if it wasn't for ECW, there wouldn't be any WWF attitude there. Or, or there wouldn't even be a Stone Cold Steve Austin. They wouldn't even be TNA or anything. So, 
you know, God bless Paul Heyman. God bless ECW. ECW, when I stand up to Sound of Five, was awesome. Great matches, especially uh, Mike Awesome versus Masato Tanaka. The most violent match of the evening. Oh, yeah. And plus, guess who led the whole ECW superstars at the end? My boy Stone Cold Steve Austin. Going on to our number two. You will not disagree with me right here. It is Survivor Series 2002. Now, you might have thought that I was going to put it at number one, but really I put it at number two because the next pay-per-view I thought was just better. This pay-per-view, however, was awesome. First ever Elimination Chamber match, and this man won the World Heavyweight title, the World Heavyweight title four years after his injury. Holy crap. I mean, four years after he won his previous World title. My God, what a great match. Triple H got hurt. Jericho got hurt. RVD, Booker T, Kane, they, everybody got hurt. Like, a lot of people were bloody mess and everything. The Big Show versus Brock Lesnar match, even though it was short, yet it was very memorable. That's what I like about WWE from the Attitude Era. Even though some of the matches they had were not so good, yet they made it memorable. Uh, the Triple Threat Elimination Tag Team match was awesome. Finally, Eddie Guerrero got a push over there. He became the tag champion. The six-man table match was awesome as well. I love the stunt with Jeff Hardy. And it included the debut of Scott Steiner. So, great moment from Survivor Series. Survivor Series was a great pay-per-view. And now, last and certainly not least, the best pay-per-view of all time. You guys, uh, you, may, you can say whatever you want. I truly don't care. Because this DVD, in my opinion, like basically made WWE skyrocket. Uh, as For me, that is. I mean, as a fan, I thought this pay-per-view inspired me to stay watching WWE at all times. And most of you will agree. Others will not. So embrace yourself because this DVD will wipe your minds out. I don't know. I'm just coming up with some random things. Anyways, going on to number one is SummerSlam 2002. Booyah. Remember, no WrestleMania involved. Number one could have been WrestleMania 17. Just letting you guys know. Anyways, going on to this one. This is number one out of all that. And out of all that. Why, you may ask? Well, because simply look at the match. Look at all the matches. Rock vs. Brock Lesnar, great match. Shawn Michaels vs. Triple H in a non-sanctioned match for the first time. Great match. Undertaker vs. Test, great match. Intercontinental Championship match, Chris Benoit vs. RVD, awesome match. Not just a great match, awesome match. Tag team match between Lance Storm, and Cri Lance Storm Christian, Booker T, and Goldust, decent match. Edge vs. Eddie Guerrero, great match. Ric Flair vs. Chris Jericho, great match. Rey Mysterio vs. Kurt Angle, the freaking opener of the pay-per-view. Awesome match. You see this? I just reviewed SummerSlam 02 in like less than a minute by saying all the matches being awesome. That is why SummerSlam 2002, which took place in August 25th. What the fuck you want me to say? And in what city? Uh, I think it was LA. Whatever. I don't care. Basically, best pay-per-view of 2002. Best pay-per-view of the decade, excluding WrestleMania. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, they That's basically my top 15 DVDs of all time. Uh, from 1 all the way to the 15. Uh, this was requested by Impossible596, I believe. Uh, go subscribe to him, all right? And remember to subscribe to me. If you like this video, please like it. Uh, also, please comment on your thoughts on this video. Comment on your thoughts on my um, my list. And make your own list. Even a matter of fact, why would you write down your list um, in your in the description? I mean, uh, in the comment box. Uh, anyways, so that's all for now, guys. See you guys next time. Peace.